Hello and welcome back to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina. Today I wanted to share my top tips for quickly and easily refreshing your home in 2023. I wanted to share with you some of these small things that you can do to improve your spaces, make some tiny little updates that have a huge impact on your spaces throughout the home. A lot of times we see all these shows and there's big renovations and walls are coming down and there's all this stuff going on. And sometimes I'm still just amazed at how simple and easy it can be to make some updates to your space that are completely transformative. So I hope you will love this idea. Hit subscribe and wanna stick around. We're gonna jump into today's video. We got a lot to share. to do to update a space is to add storage. It is so easy for your home to get cluttered and storage is a really easy way to help just make your space feel more put together and less chaotic. Storage is a big deal and it comes in all different forms. Sometimes a piece of furniture is the perfect thing that you can use to be able to create a way of putting your things away. So if you don't have a linen closet, I don't have one. I've added a dresser into my home that helps me put all of my linens away. I also think that you can still use the armoires. I know a lot of people stopped using them for their TVs, but I still think they make great storage for other things like big comforters and maybe some toys and books and all kinds of things. Also, you could think about adding a bookshelf into your space. It's a great way to just be able to put more of your things up. It gives you a vertical piece that really draws the eye up and then you've got places to store books and knickknacks and all those fun little things and bookshelves can be great. I also love clothes storage like a sideboard. Uh, I've got one here in my office that I use for my office things and I also store some of my china in here. Bar carts, bar cabinets, these are great for drinkware. There's a lot of different ways to be able to store and I think sometimes having those larger pieces can really help you corral your stuff and just store it in plain sight and tuck it away. Also, you can think about doing some smaller storage. Things like baskets are literally my go-to. I buy them all the time. I put them into every single one of my design projects because baskets are really important. We all need to put things away. We all have things that need to be stored or stashed, whether it's blankets, uh, dog toys or cat toys or uh, toys for kids, uh, books and extra things. Baskets are ideal for all those things and baskets come in all different shapes and sizes. So if you want to have a larger one uh, where you want to put some wood in there, maybe you want to have a blanket in there, maybe a small one that goes on a shelf that stores things like just games and little, it's always that stuff, right? We all have that little stuff that's just part of life and I think those little baskets are perfect. You can also take those baskets and store in drawers as well. Uh, we were just talking about bathroom organization and talked about that in depth. Uh, check that video out if you haven't already, but we were talking about how actually in drawers, a lot of times plastic can be quite nice in the bathroom, but in the kitchen, I love to use wood. Those wooden trays are really nice get them off of Amazon actually. It's really nice to have some of those wooden pieces that look really nice. I also use a lot of baskets in the kitchen as well to be able to put food away and to make everything look nice and neat. So there's a variety of ways in which to store, but storing your things and putting things away will instantaneously make your space feel better. It'll make it feel a lot more put together and it should make it feel really calm and chic. Lighting is literally what helps you to see your space, but it also adds ambiance and character and warmth into your space. Lighting is super important and it comes in lots of different forms. I like to really stand back at the door or the entry of the space and really look at the space and really just read the space in front of you and really look around and see what it is that you've got. Then start thinking about what, how do you move lighting around the space? Because that's how you'll get a really nice feeling throughout your space. You also may wanna also stand in the center of the room after that, and then just make a nice 360 and look at all the different spaces around you, 
all the different ways in which you'll need to light this space because light should always move all four corners for sure and also in the center of a room. And that feeling will add immediate character and ambiance into your space. Once you've kind of figured out, okay, I, need, I know I need a few pieces, where do you go from there? Well, there's a couple things that you can employ. First of all, if you think, just, just start from the top. Think about putting in a beautiful chandelier. I think that they can really make a bold statement in a space, in your living room, in your bedrooms, in your bathrooms, in your entryway. Even in the kitchen, you can have a really nice big overhead light, your breakfast area, your dining room. These are spaces that really get defined by the overhead lighting. That chandelier is a really big deal. And if the one that you have is just kind of feeling tired, just switching that one thing out will make a huge difference. Now, as you work your way back down, you might wanna think about some floor lamps because those are actually going to light the upper parts of your space. Floor lamps are really, really helpful if you think about how you're taking the light down and you wanna fill the middle ground of your spaces. If you have some tall bookshelves, you might wanna think about putting some little lights on top of those. That way you can also light the top, right? So we're trying to fill that medium ground of the space and floor lamps are the perfect way to do it. You can also use those to low light your space, which is really interesting as well. If you think about task light and how that will low light your sofas, it can low light a bed bedroom area. I don't usually use those in the kitchen or in the dining room, but uh, yeah, those are really helpful if it's somewhere that you want a low light and you're maybe going to be reading or flipping through a magazine or something like that. I always think through all the different ways in which to light a space. Also think about table lamps and how those are really easy to just simply add a new lamp if you don't have enough lighting, switch out one that's feeling a little bit tired. You can add those to almost any, any furniture pieces that you've got. You've got your sideboard, you've got your console tables, you've got your dresser, you've got your nightstands. One final thing that to think about when it comes to lighting is to also think about sconces. As you can see here, I don't have them on at the moment because it kind of throws the lighting off a little bit in the space, but these are usually on. As, this is my office and this is where I work. The reason I put sconces up in this space was because I am space poor in, in this room. I'm trying to get a million things into this space. And so what I did is I put the, the lights up. That way I could have all the space reserved on my sideboard for all of my, you know, my flowers and my other things that I want to have here. So sconces are a great way to save yourself a bit of space and they can really help light that middle ground. love updating bedding because it is absolutely transformative to your entire bedroom. Bedding is so much fun to shop for too. It's just a really fun thing to be able to update your bedding. I personally love to have a little kind of capsule. That's how I kind of think of it. I think of like the capsule bedding where I have a couple collections that I can use and they're all interchangeable with each other and the colors just all work in the space. One of my favorite places to shop is actually Bowl and Branch. They've got gorgeous, gorgeous sheets beautiful, but you can also shop on places like Pottery Barn, they have great linens, and places like Amazon have beautiful linens. So switch out your sheets, add a blanket, add layers onto the bed. A lot of times that's where we really struggle is those layers. A duvet is nice because you can change out the cover on them, you can still add a quilt and or a blanket over the end of the bed, switching out your shams and really adding layers of shams. Instead of just doing one pillow that you put your head down on, think about how you can really dress up your bed with a couple shams and some throw pillows. For a really long time, I've been like, mm, not using those throw pillows as much, but I just lately have loved a cozier look. And so you can just get that cozy look very easily by just adding some simple pillows on. Try to stick to a budget. You can definitely find some things on Amazon, but then if you have a little bit more, I, lately I've been loving like Ralph Lauren shams and some of their pieces because there's just a little something extra to it. And I know when I buy those pieces, I'm gonna have them for years. So yeah, have a little bit of fun. Have a little bit of fun. Think about how you might wanna mix in a little bit of pattern, maybe through some plaids or some florals and just have a, and really update your bedding so that you just have that important place. It's so important, it's your bed. So I think having a place that you go to sleep in and gives you that rest that you need is imperative to your health. And having a space that you wake up in and feel so good in, it's it just, it's transformative. <laughs> Speaking 
speaking of pillows, let's talk about the sofa for a minute because the sofa, a lot of times, our entire living room can feel a little bit, sometimes I think we get bored with it. Sometimes I feel like we just want something new to look at. Uh, sometimes the things just get old. Sometimes they get ripped. Think about some new pillows that you could put down. Think about a new season. I love, again, to think about that sort of capsule idea. I have a collection of pillow covers and then I just buy the down inserts. I actually buy them on, I buy them on Potter Bar and I buy them at uh, Amazon. There's two places that I shop for them. And I always size up on those. So if your pillow is a 20 by 20, you want a 22 by 22 insert. But once you have the inserts, you can switch the covers out over and over and create new looks all the time. So I have a little bit of a capsule and I'll switch those pillows out from the different sofas that I have. I'll use them in the bed sometimes or with one of my kids' beds. It's really nice to have just a little stash of those covers. So think about maybe a new color scheme that you'd like to use and you'll maybe use them in the bedroom when a few months from now when you want something fresh in there. And so when you create that nice little capsule, it really just helps you give your space a refresh for every little season and it just gives you something fresh and new to look at and it really it's not only cozy but it does make a huge difference on how the space looks and feels another simple way to make a huge difference in your spaces is to add a throw a throw blanket I absolutely love them it's one of my go-to tools I think that a throw blanket can completely transform almost any space it makes that big of a difference if you think about a sofa, and a lot of times they can feel a little bit bare, you might try to put some pillows on it, but it just feels like something's like not like something's missing. It's probably the throw blanket. It's probably the thing that you need. Throw blankets can also be really helpful if you have tears or spills on your furniture. Uh, I talk about this a lot where everyone's like, oh, how do you have white sofas? Well, you know, occasionally I spill coffee on them. <laughs> That's what the throw blanket is for, okay? Uh, we all, uh, so many of us have pets, we have kids, we've got all this activity going on. I think sometimes it's us adults that make the biggest messes, but that throw blanket is key. <laughs> I remember one of my clients, she was like, I got this big rip in my sofa, and I'm like, throw blanket. <laughs> So they can be really helpful and really transform your spaces and they can hide things too, but they're also really cozy as well. And so I actually like to have a combination of different blankets. I've always got something, uh, let me see if I can show you. I've got something usually kind of furry and then I've usually got something that's a little bit more structured and I like to balance things. I like to have extra, I like to honestly have more throws for a space than we would necessarily need. I put those extra ones in baskets. Uh, you can also put them folded inside of your sideboards if you've got them or inside your media cabinet. But there's a lot of great uses for those blankets in addition to all making it look really good. When you go to sit down in your space, you've got a blanket and you can really get cozy, it changes the way you feel in your space. And so it's not just the way it looks, but also how it feels. And that's why I think that throw blanket is just so important. You can do the exact same thing for your bed as well. I th chairs, yes, they're everywhere in my house. You guys know that if you're my regular subscribers, you're like, she's the throw blanket queen. <laughs> I know, because they really are just that good and they really just make that big of a difference. Another easy update is to actually add some art to your space. Art is one of those things that really makes a big statement about who you are, what you like, what you enjoy. When I go to pick pieces for my clients, I ask them a lot about what do they like to do? Where do they like to go? Uh, what kinds of things are they interested in? Those are all the questions that help me understand what it is that they enjoy so that we can make sure that the artwork represents something that they want to look at. So if you don't have a lot of artwork in your home, we've been very minimalistic for quite some years, I think it's it's a good time to think about maybe putting a little bit of artwork up. If you've got a really big space, you could do one really big piece or you could do a collage of multiple pieces. A lot of times I'll do the same frame with something different inside of it. Uh, I think that those being lit with a little art light makes a huge difference as well. But don't forget that your corners of your spaces are another area that a lot of us forget about, but adding art to the little corners of your spaces can make a huge impact. If you've got an area that just feels a little bit barren, 
adding a little bit of artwork. Like I've got this little piece that's just kind of sitting over here. It just kind of fills that little emptiness that would be there otherwise. That's a really fun way of just adding a little bit of personality into your space and also helping it to feel complete. I think a lot of times when you don't have enough artwork on your walls, your space just ends up feeling like something's missing. And if that's the feeling you've been getting, it might just be the art. So think about shopping. Oh, there's so many great places to shop for art. I go, my, I, I run the gamut. I love to shop on first dibs for beautiful antique and vintage art pieces. I also shop on places like Amazon. I shop on Etsy. Etsy's really fun because you can support an artist that's maybe just getting started. Um, I think that places even like Target and even Pottery Barn and West Elm have gotten really good. Oh, and Crate and Barrel is another good one. They all, they've all gotten better at, at giving you a lot of different art choices. And so I think really asking yourself, what kind of art do I even feel drawn to is a good place to start. Think about the color palette in the room and how you might enhance that color palette with the artwork you put in. But also ultimately, pick something that you look at and you just love. I absolutely love having a signature scent. I think it is so important. I've got my signature scent going right here, right next to me. I absolutely love the Spiritual Candle by Medellin. This is the candle that so many of you know, if you walk in my house, it's probably gonna smell like this candle because it's the scent that I just love. My husband and I just freak out over it. We just absolutely love this candle. And it's become the signature scent of our home. It's the one that you just know us by. And we have other candles and we love to try them out. And we've got different ones in different rooms. But when it comes to the signature scent, this is the one for us that we just always go to. I think having a signature scent for your space is huge. It really helps the space feel pulled together. There's something about the way your, everybody's home smells like something. Everybody's home smells like them. And it's a combination of the things that you cook, the uh, shampoos and the fabrics and fabric softeners and all the different things that you've got going on in your house. And so when you add a fragrance to the room and you add a candle or a diffuser, you can do the diffusers with the little sticks or you can do them where they are um, just the little, the little electric ones. All of those things will help give you this, a sense of place. And so that's why signature scent is just so important. And I think it's a lot of fun. We have had an absolute blast just checking out so many different fragrances over the years and trying to figure out what our absolute diehard favorite was. We've got a lot of favorites. I actually, on my uh, Like to Know It app, I, I post my mood boards and I post my favorites over there a lot. And it's literally just an app on your phone and you just open the app up like this you open the app up like this. Follow me on there if you wanna be able to see it. You go to the House of Valentina. You can just tap there and you've got all of my favorites stored in here and you can just scroll through and get some ideas. And if you wanted to purchase something, it's in there. But I like to be able to post these mood boards. These are the ones that I give to my clients as well. So you've got lots of mood boards in there. If you're looking for more ideas and you're just struggling with how to put all of the ideas that we're talking about today together, I give you those ideas here. You're more than welcome to shop them because the links are there, but I love these because it keeps my mind fresh. It helps, this is how I present my ideas to my clients as well. I give them these mood boards and I share with them the ideas and how it all looks together. So you can shop that. It's just a free little app that you can download and it just makes a huge difference. So if you wanna know my signature scent and some of my other favorites, the baskets and lighting and all that kind of stuff, check out that Like to Know It app. I think that you guys will really love it. I'll leave a link for it down below in the show notes for you. When it comes to making simple updates to your space, one of my favorite things to do is to always add a little bit of green. I love to add florals and that is so much fun, but it's not always practical. Right now I've got these uh, hydrangea. This one's looking a little tired. We'll just turn this around. <laughs> we'll turn it around to the prettier side here. Uh, I love these. I got them at the grocery store and they're amazing. And I love having orchids, but I think just generally adding some green into your space makes a huge difference. If your space just feels, again, you've, you've started to do all these things. You've got your lights, you've got your blankets, you've got your pillows. Something still feels like it's missing. It may be the greens. 
I love to have fresh flowers and I love to have plants. I love to have live plants. I love to have live trees, but you can also do some faux. I've got the faux olive tree back here. I've got those kind of in corners where things just aren't going to live. And so think about some a faux olive tree. They've got all different varieties coming out right now that just looks so much better than anything they've ever come out with before. You can use all different types from olive to fig to the chefalera to the fica. There's a lot of different choices and adding that green just adds that punch of life into a space. And if you don't have that in your space, it's probably gonna feel just a little bit dull and that'll literally just infuse life right into it. let's talk about accessories because let's face it if you put furniture pieces in and you put pillows and some blankets and some lights down and even some art a, and a great signature set and all these greens you do all these things if you don't have any accessories in your space it's still it's gonna feel like it's missing something for sure and I think that having those key accessories can make a huge difference. I love to add a beautiful vase. I think a vase is a, an, an amazing accessory to be able to add to your space. I love adding things like these chagrin boxes. Some simple little accessories will really take you a really long way. I've got here, I've got this tray at the moment. You can kind of see this, the tray loaded up with some just a sphere, it's got some magazines, it's got the candle, a few little personal items, some things that I've collected. These little uh, busts are little African carvings. These are the kinds of things that will transform your spaces. So if they're feeling empty and you've done all the other things and you haven't updated your accessories, this is probably where you just need to invest in a few key accessories. You don't have to go crazy. I'm always amazed when I go to finish a room how few things it takes to complete a space. Now, if you wanna add some more personal items on top of that, that's where I let my clients really personalize the space with, if they have some other knickknacks that they wanna add over time and things that you might wanna collect. But if you don't have a good baseline of a few key accessories, the vases, books are really important. I like to buy them when they have like a linen cover and like this one is just sitting here open and it's, it's beautiful. And I think that a beautiful book can take you a really long way because it looks beautiful sitting open, it looks beautiful sitting closed, and you can use it as decor and as art. So think about some key accessories that you might wanna add, some rings that you could add, some of those little spheres. Think about some vases that you could add, a tray, a box. These are essentials to completing a space and it will really help everything feel completely pulled together. So I hope today's video has been really inspiring for you. I hope it's gotten you really excited about decorating your spaces and just adding those finishing touches to what you've already been working on can be so transformative. And so I hope that we've just left you feeling super inspired and charged to walk through your spaces. I suggest taking a notepad or a notebook or even your phone if you have to and just start making notes about the things that you think just take one wall at a time and just say what does this wall need okay and then what does this table need instead of just trying to take the whole room off in one big bite start looking at the small spaces the vignettes that you create with all the lighting and the accessories and everything and just take it bite by bite get that get that final little bit those little things that just make everything feel finished and yeah and, and cozy and homey and all those things that we want to feel in our spaces. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you've enjoyed today's video and you want more like this down in the comment section, which one of these tips that you found most helpful. Let me know what you're struggling with as well, because then we're going to make video content for you this year based off of what you tell us that you are really struggling with. We're really looking at your comments. We're really reading them and we're looking for the things that you are uh, asking help for. And that way we can create the content for you. I hope you'll hit subscribe and get to watch all those videos coming out. It's gonna be so exciting. I just can't wait. I love it. So thank you so much uh, for tuning in and uh, don't forget to look down below for all those links for those items. And uh, otherwise, cheers you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.